Hey everyone, I am back from my vacation and I got my bearings back. So I wanted to do this video on uh, some of the viewer questions that uh, came up while I was on vacation. Um, and one of the questions was, where do I get my wallpapers from? And the first place I can go ahead and su suggest is actually an Android application called Zedge. Z-E-D-G-E. -E. And what's nice about this application it, is that it actually uh, has wallpapers, ringtones, and notification tones. So it's pretty good. So here you see, the, here's a lot of various different wallpapers. Um, and more and more are added each day. I believe it's user uh, added to users actually add the different wallpapers to Zedge. Um, but let's say you wanted a particular thing for your hub. And let's say, for instance, mine would be social. So I would look up Facebook. And I know you can't read my typing, but put in Facebook. I've searched it before. And it came up with just nine wallpapers associated with Facebook. And as you can see, I've already downloaded a couple of them um, by these little symbols that are in the middle of these pictures. But there you could go ahead and get a Facebook theme for one of your hubs. Or say, for instance, you wanted a particular color for a hub. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can actually type in, let's say, for instance, blue. And it came up with over 1,300 wallpapers associated with the color blue. And most of them will have the color blue, not entirely blue most of the time, but it will have mainly blue themes to the wallpapers. So that's one source where I go ahead and get my wallpapers from. Another source is just simply the internet and particularly Google. If you go ahead and type in your address bar, just type in HD wallpapers and I've already done that so I can just hit the link here. It'll come up with web pages that you can go ahead and get your web, your high definition wallpapers from. One of the the um, websites that I like in particular is called hdwallpapers.in, which is right here. And what I like about it is that it will actually allow you to choose the size of the wallpaper that you're downloading. So say for instance, if I just, I'll just choose the first one. So if I go ahead and scroll in, and I know you can't really see that, I'll try to get as big, but see it has different sizes that you can go ahead and actually download. And once you click on a size, If you go ahead and at the very top, it actually has download. And once you click download, it'll actually just download to your device. And you can go ahead and simply choose it in your multi-live wallpaper uh, application for one of your home screen pictures. So the other way that you can go ahead and... get your wallpapers from excuse me let me go ahead and type in HD wallpapers again is just by simply clicking on images right there if you go ahead and click on images 
Google will actually go ahead and populate lots of high definition wallpapers for you, as you can see right here. And you can go ahead and scroll through those until you find one you like. And then we'll just pick that one. And then up at the top here, you see full size images. I know that was blurry. You click on that, at least on my phone, that's what it says. And then you would just long press and save the image and it'll go to your gallery and that's another way you can go ahead and choose your wallpaper so that's how I choose my wallpapers now on the more serious side of doing Android hubs um, a viewer had issues with uh, the pictures not showing up individually it would just stay one particular picture or something like that I believe when they scrolled and what you want to do is actually go to your ADW settings and then you want to go to general behavior and animation and effects and you have to make sure have to have to have to make sure that wallpaper scrolling and I know that's blurry uh, is checked. Make sure that box is checked. If it's not checked, then multi picture live wallpaper won't work because it's this ADW is not allowing it to really scroll. So you make sure that is checked. And then once you go to multi picture live wallpaper, put the settings there. As you can see here, I have several screen settings that I have added to multi picture live wallpaper. And you do that by going to add individual settings with that little circle with the plus in the middle. You go ahead and hit that. And as you can see, I can add an eighth page right there. I only have set up five home screens actually in ADW. So only the settings for screen settings one through five will actually show up. But if you went ahead and went to your, to edit, it'll actually show here all your home screens. And you can go ahead by pressing this button up here over, over a particular home screen. That'll set your home page, the screen that it will default to when you press the home button or something like that and if you wanted to go ahead and delete a page or a home screen you would press this circled X at the bottom and if you wanted to add you would press where there is no home screen it's just over there on the side by itself you would press that button and it will add a home screen but go ahead and do that before you start theming because it kind of messes up uh, multi-picture live wallpaper it doesn't quite know how to handle adding a home screen after you've already started theming so make sure you have all the home screens that you want before you start theming your device so I think that is about it if you guys have any other questions comments or concerns go ahead and let me know in the comment section and I will address them as soon as I can. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe or just like it if you want. And I will really, really appreciate that. So until I have some more questions or um, put up another video, you guys go ahead and take care.